second. Now let's listen in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. Falcon 9 lift off in a beautifully clear shot there uh, at 4.14 p.m. Eastern. Uh, at T plus 10 seconds, the thrust vector control system tilted Falcon to begin a pitch kick maneuver to get it going sideways. You just heard that uh, we're going supersonic and we're about to go through max Q when the rocket's pushing hardest against the atmosphere. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. successfully achieved that major milestone of every rocket launch. Uh, we're actually decreasing the thrust in our engines a little bit around the time of max Q to minimize some of those forces. Coming up about uh, 50 seconds from now, uh, and back engine chill. Uh, there'll be three events in quick succession. The main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will start its Merlin vacuum engine, uh, which you heard is just beginning its own chill procedure. Cutoff happening just a few seconds from now. Pico. from Merlin vacuum engine plume as it uh, flicker in the cameras as, as that plume sort of interacted with the top of the interstage there for a moment. Uh, the next major event is uh, the fairing deploy coming up just a few seconds from now. That's the second stage that will be deploying its fairing. Vehicle is on nominal frequency. There you see the, the fairings falling away behind. Uh, there's a still, they're light, they're made of carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb, but they still represent excess mass, so we, we uh, no longer need them once we get out of the atmosphere. For those of you just joining us, we had three uh, events in rapid succession. We had a main engine cutoff from that first stage, we had a stage separation event, and then we had a second stage light, uh, followed quickly then by a fairing separation. Everything's going great right now. Uh, Falcon 9 is looking uh, pretty good. Uh, right now, let's go over what we can see on your screen. On the left-hand side, that's a camera mounted on the top of the first stage of the rocket, looking down towards the nine Merlin engines at the bottom. Uh, in that view, you can see those titanium grid fins. Uh, they slowly deployed just after stage separation. 
and those grid fins will allow the Falcon 9 first stage to guide itself back down towards the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. You can see uh, brief flashes of those cold gas thrusters as they guide, uh, pro provide additional control authority for that first stage. On the right-hand side of your screen is a camera mounted at the very bottom of the second stage looking down towards the Merlin vacuum nozzle. Uh, of course, at the very other end of that stage is the Bangamandu Satellite 1. Uh, right now, that Merlin vacuum engine is glowing red hot with those exhaust gases as it propels Bangamandu Satellite 1 into its final geostationary transfer orbit. Our Falcon 9 first stage today is going to perform two burn maneuvers in order to get back down towards the drone ship. Uh, the first burn is going to be an entry burn coming up in about 30 seconds. You'll be able to see that entry burn start on the left-hand side of your screen. As a reminder, those uh, bursts of uh, clouds coming out of the Falcon 9 first stage on the left are those cold gas thrusters that, in addition to the titanium grid fins, allow it to provide or to control itself as it comes back down through the atmosphere. There's the startup of the entry burn. At this point, the Falcon 9 first stage is actually only about 10% of the mass that it was in the pad. So it's actually pretty empty of fuel and liquid oxygen right now. So this entry burn is only going to last a few more seconds before cutting off. And there it is. As that first stage gets closer and closer to the surface of the Earth, uh, we should be able to see features such as clouds, waves, and eventually the outline of our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. It looks like there may be some condensation forming on the inside of the camera, but uh, we should get some good, uh, good video. Um, on the right-hand side of your screen, again, that second stage is still continuously uh, propelling Bangamandu Satellite 1 into orbit. It uh, looks like we may have lost video from the cameras on that first stage momentarily. Uh, we'll see if we can get them back. Uh, it, one thing that is unique about this mission uh, is that the second stage engine cutoff is going to happen just before the landing coming up in about 20 seconds or so. You can see in your mission status bar at the very bottom, the second stage engine cutoff and landing are right on top of each other. So uh, be prepared for those two events to happen in quick succession. So it looks like we don't have a great video signal with that first stage right now, but we do have confirmation that the landing burn has started. Those landing legs should be deploying very soon. There it is. <laughs> and interruption in the video signal. Uh, we are looking at the 25th recovered first stage of a 